Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and I am here to tell you, yeah you, that you should play Vigor. Now, um, before I really get into this, I want to say I'm making this video because I like Vigor, and I want to shout, like, like, try to see how many people we can get into the game and playing, because it's a very fun, entertaining game that I don't think a lot of people have really been looking at, and uh, I think it deserves more light. Um, I will say I'm a little bit biased, because I do make a decent amount of Vigor videos, and I do play the game a decent amount, as compared to, like, you know, normal people. Uh, <laughs> but I hope this video is, is not biased enough to actually give you an accurate reason to play Vigor, and why it is a good game, and why I personally feel you should be playing it. So first things first, what is Vigor? Vigor is a um, pretty realistic uh, post-apocalyptic uh, survival. It takes place in post-nuclear Norway, and basically the... Events of the game are you go out on trips using uh, guns and uh, medical equipment and ammo that you bring from your shelter. You gather resources, supplies, bullets, other guns while you're out on these uh, resource gathering trips or uh, going into the outlands as it's called in the, concept, uh, in the game. Uh, if you die during these trips, you basically don't get anything. You lose all the loot you brought and anything you gathered. But if you survive, you get to keep everything you gathered and everything you brought. Um, the uh, overwhelming issue is there are other players who are going to try to kill you and take your loot. And there's also uh, things like the airdrop and the vault, which have tons of loot, but every other player is going to probably go there. So now that I've got the basics of the game out of the way, I will note before we get into anything, this game isn't... Uh, beta right now. Uh, it will be coming out uh, fully in a 1.0 in the w ne one of the next two months. Uh, it will be free to play when it comes out fully. Uh, and it is an Xbox exclusive as well. So one of the major things I want to talk about when it's, uh, talking about this game in particular is the weight in gunplay. Gunplay in this game is very... It's very... <laughs> You can feel it. I don't know that it seems a little weird as a statement, but let, let me explain it this way. Gunplay in, in a lot of games, when you shoot something, you, you don't really feel like you're hitting things. You don't really feel the weight of your bullets. And in this game, in this game there's definitely weight to your bullets. Because uh, first things, well, I will state, uh, guns kill pretty fast. They usually have a pretty realistic ballistics. Meaning, like, four or five bullets from most guns will kill things. Um, headshots, one-shot kill. So, pretty much, a lot of the gunplay isn't really as much spray prey. Yes, there is spray and prey. But most of it is getting tactical and actually, you know, using your brain to try to hit a headshot or hit those amount of body shots that you need. Uh, pretty much, in most fights, there's very few exceptions where people use, like, silver pigeons or Xiaomi's. Where it may be a bit spray and prey, but... Majority of the time, it's based off of intellect and actual skill and accuracy. Um, also, because of the fact of how fast guns kill, uh, you're, as I said, like, literally 30, 40 seconds ago, bullets feel very, like, like heavy. When you get hit, you, you feel it. Like, you, you know, oh, great, I'm probably going to die because, yeah, I got shot, like, twice. Uh, same is true when you hit someone. You're probably going to kill that person if you hit more than, like, three bullets. And you're like, yeah, I got this. And I think that's a very great aspect of this game because in a lot of games, you know, you'll <laughs> unload an entire mag into someone and they're still walking around and you're like, well, great. <laughs> um, <laughs> guess I'm going to die. <laughs> or uh, things like that. So continuing on to another topic on why this game should, right? The community is amazing. Like, it's, it's astronomically amazing. Uh, you have a lot of very receptive people. You have the devs who are constantly talking to players. You have some big members of the community who are constantly talking to the player, uh, to their viewers and then telling what the viewers say to the devs. So there's a lot of community feedback. And you can pretty much... Like, if you were to say something on, like, the Vigor community Discord or the Reddit, it's pretty certain that you would get a reply eventually from someone, whether it be a partner or whether it be a dev. And you'd be able to get a pretty good idea on what's going on with the game. Um, and also, let's say you're like a new up-and-coming streamer or YouTuber, and you want a game that's like your niche. This is a very good niche game, uh, especially right now, now that we're approaching release. There's a decent amount of videos you can make, 
and waiting up until release, and then you'd probably just go streaming. I mean, there's definitely a lot to stream and uh, videotape, and there's definitely a lot of people who would be willing to collab with you and make videos with you if you wanted to be a YouTuber or streamer. But if you just wanted to be a normal guy, that works too. You definitely can get in contact with people and make a difference in the game because it is a beta, and they kind of want to hear your feedback. Um, Also, on the note of the community, actually as a single player, you can do really well really fast. The game, I don't want to say it's easy. It's not easy. It's not at all. But you might be like, well, well, Chris, I don't want to join right now because people have had like four months of playing. They love the great guns. A lot of guns in the lower levels are actually pretty usable. And I've heard from some people that they're not, and I disagree. They're, one of the starter guns is like the Xiaomi and the Thompson. Both of those annihilate. They're great guns. And as long as you know how to aim, you can use them pretty well. And the thing about this game is, yeah, it has a pretty steep beginning learning curve. I'm not going to lie. It pretty much does. Uh, if you don't get past that learning curve, you're pretty much stuck. However, the second you get past that learning curve, you're on pretty much equal footing with everyone else. And as long as you, like, try and actually put a little bit of effort into the game, you probably can get a higher level before 1.0. Now, you might be like, well, why do I have to do it before 1.0? Well, 1.0 is going to have a reset. So if you're like... While I'm behind in the community, I'm just going to wait until 1.0. When the reset hits, I'll be able to be on par with everyone. That is perfect. Like, there's no issue with that. Because it makes sense. You'll be able to be on the same learning curve as everyone else. And you'll pretty much be on equal footing. And you'll be able to get the same guns and uh, evolve with the rest of the community. So the next step, next little note that I have on things I want to cover... The variety in game uh, gunplay. There's a lot of guns in this game, and a lot of them are very, very different. You have LMGs, SMGs, uh, bolt action sniper rifles, regular sniper rifles, um, ARs, burst ARs, and regular ARs. You have out of the AR category. You have shotguns. I think I said that, but you also have secondary shotguns, which are like smaller shotguns that you can hold in your secondary shot, like a pistol. Um, and you also have, like, pump shotguns. So there's a lot of guns in this game that you can play around with. And most likely, if you have a play style, there's a gun for it. And that's not even the note that there's going to be more guns coming in uh, within the next couple updates. So I can guarantee you that there will be a gun for your play style, no matter what your play style is, whether it be AR, up close and personal, SMG, even up even closer and personal, shotgun you know, right next to the person. I don't know, maybe you want a knife, and you want to shank people. Fine by me, no judging. Um, <laughs> so the next point I want to make is the art. This game has amazing art. The art is splendid. It is, it is, it is beautiful. Uh, the, there's definitely going to be background footage for this, so as you probably have been seeing, the, there's a lot of effort put into the art, and it looks visually appealing. So, like, you know, you aren't going to get tired of seeing something because it's, it's, it looks amazing. There's a whole lot of uh, work put into the art. And uh, the art team, uh, they definitely deserve some credit because it's amazing. I mean, that th- I'm going to be real here, Chief. When I first bought this uh, game, it was because the art was just amazing and i was like oh wow i I did my two hour free to play and i was like yeah no i really like this art and because i'm i'm weird and there's certain things i like in games and you know art is definitely one of them other thing is you know playability and this game has a lot of that so uh last point i want to make and you might be like what what do you mean last point you know i talk pretty fast i just covered like i don't know seven points (laughs) um but uh, there's a lot of little details. If you don't know, I run VSL, and so I'm very biased when it comes to this note. A lot of people aren't going to agree with me, but you know what? There's a lot of little details, and there's a lot that most people won't notice that are there, like signs, uh, hidden lore, images that have meaning, uh, moving of bears. Pretty much everything I cover on VSL is, is a little detail that's sprinkled in there, and that just shows a whole lot of care put into this game. Which leads me to believe, you know, if they're going to put the extra ed- uh, eh, the extra effort into the little details, they're also going to put the extra effort into gunplay and listening to their community. 
And besides, it would say, and you'll want to do an investigation, there's definitely tons of stuff to investigate in this game, as my, you know, four VSL videos have proven. So, that gets me to the end of this list. There's more reasons than this, but I don't have it written down, and I've re-recorded this 32 times now, because my audio software is just not fun with me right now. No, I'm not joking, 32. It is actually 32. And you might wait, no, you're over it. No, it's been 32. I've been counting. So, I, we're, I'm going to leave it here. There's probably more reasons, and I might add them in my comment or my description. Whatever more reasons I can think of in the future. But I hope to see you guys in the ways and the outlands. Until then, see you all next time.